All right, here's my catamaran quad, or my cat quad, as I'm calling it. As you can see, I have a cat there. That's a Laguna. She's my shop cat. All right, so this is a land sailor and water sailor to get across um, some channels along the Texas coast. This is going to be a beach vehicle. And um, three modes of uh, water transportation are going to be some oars right here. I'm going to sit on the back, and i got some oars. They're going to be oar lock here. And then I have, this is a mast with sail power. <clears throat> and hopefully I'm going to have a prop drive in there with a power takeoff. <clears throat> Next. Um, let's just go right into the powertrain here. So if I happen to have a mid-drive motor, it'll sit up here between the mast and my pedals. And this is all just mocked up. So it's <clears throat> ready for a rolling test and that's about it. And then the chain comes through here, and it's going to go to my transmission area. <coughs> and it will come into a, like a, an Alfine or an uh, Enviola <coughs> um, drive here. And then this is going to be the, the drive axle here. And maybe we'll have a, um, a clutch or a um, um, derailer system that will um, connect between the power takeoff for the prop and for or the wheels <coughs> one or the other and it's going to just come through here this area here and go through there so <coughs> now i'm at the steering section most steering goes in the front up here but i wanted to be able to have easy access through the front so i put the steering <coughs> in the back all right so with this so I got the Ackerman geometry kind of close. I'm going to have to fine tune it. But as we turn this back and forth, back and forth, right, we can see that we have steering. And I can go all the ways out to here and basically bump right into me. <clears throat> but we have pretty good uh, steering there. All right. So we're going back and forth there. But the problem is... I have to swing that back and forth. So <clears throat> I have at the present for the, my rolling test, I just have a uh, rope here. And when I pull on that, it will pull on that. That goes up to the seat post and over to there. So when I pull on that, it just pulls it back and forth. I'll probably put some sort of lever in here instead of handhold. <clears throat> this way I can have my brakes on as well. And I'll get the brakes where the, the two front are one um, lever and then I also have back brakes <coughs> which is kind of nice because if I'm getting pulled down here it's kind of nice to drag and if I hit the brakes too hard well I don't want to end up all right and here's my seat right now it's off my um, Terra trike uh, Maverick just for modeling purposes and that's what um, Laguna my Gato was sitting on um, this is to remind me I need to do a headrest because I'm more reclined bef now than uh, on my Maverick, and uh, which I don't really need to be reclined. And I can be sitting comfortably. <clears throat> the whole reason uh, for this um, setup is so I can have uh, a comfortable seat. And this is way more comfortable than sitting on a bicycle seat here. It's just immensely more comfortable in breathing and your whole back um and when i've gone 367 miles at texas beach i want to be comfortable all right and uh <clears throat> so there we go oh and here's my uh <clears throat> my two uh stand-up paddle boards they're going to be sitting here they're 10 and a half feet long almost a, a yardstick wide Right, I'm gonna have a couple tie points here to hold the uh, the two ends together, and then it's gonna be lashed down to the board. I'm gonna put some D rings on the, uh, <coughs> on, the on the sup board. So there we go. So it's gonna have uh, um, inflatable sup boards, and they and they're about 20 25 pounds a piece. So that's 50 pounds worth of extra stuff plus drinking water plus my gear so that's all going to fit in here <clears throat>